why do you think society is so fucking committed to talking about trivia and sports and weather and bullshit? Because bullshit doesn't give you moral responsibility because trivia does not expand your moral horizons. People are addicted to talking about nothing because they don't want moral responsibility. This is why everybody preens and, and cloaks themselves in the fine feathers of moral shit that nobody disagrees with. Oh, I want to help the poor. Whoa, what a moral hero. That's never been thought of before. <laughs> I'm against racism. Ooh, wow, you're just incredible. You're like the freedom fighters. I think slavery is bad. I think that hungry people should get food. I want medicine for the sick. Oh my God, you're a moral innovator. <laughs> you're like Galileo to the solar system. It's astounding. You're just an immoral, forward, progressive, heroic paragon of virtue that blinds all who come within a light year of a scintillating virtue, right? I mean, the, the people just love that. I mean, now, of course, they would have, most of them would have been this, the assholes who attacked anyone who first brought up these ideas. But people love to say all these non-controversial things. I think we should defend our country. I think we should defend the homeland from terrorism. No, I think terrorism should flourish. <laughs> I'm going to be a, a contrarian, <laughs> right? I'm for uh, education. Yeah, I, I, I want to eat hungry people <laughs> before they get too hungry to be good eating. Anyway, right? I mean, this is, just, this is just a nonsense. And why do people talk about it? Why don't people want to talk about philosophy? Why don't people want to talk about virtue? Why don't people want to talk about principles? Because once you get principles, you get moral responsibility, and then you have to actually, actually fucking do something about the state of the world, rather than just repeating all of the one moral battles that aren't really one, but people think they're one. I think women should be equal. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> what are you saying? I, it's like you're not even speaking English to me, man. So, but what, what does that mean? What does it mean women should be equal? I mean, nobody can even tell they should be equal in the eyes of the law. Ah, ah, okay, well, what does that mean? Uh, does that mean they should get the same prison sentences as men for the same crimes? Uh, does that mean they should be prosecuted for, say, false rape allegations? Does that mean that they should uh, pay uh, millions of dollars to men who they've given false paternity claims against? Uh, does that mean that um, they should never get alimony because men don't uh, in general? I mean, what does that mean? Does that mean that, that a man has the right to walk away from fatherhood in the same way that a woman has the right to have an abortion and walk away from motherhood? I mean, what does that mean? Nobody knows, right? Because the whole point is you just make empty, self-congratulatory moral statements that mean nothing and affect nothing so that you can avoid actually discussing principles and then actually having to take a stand that might get you in trouble, right? Everybody wants the benefits yeah, of being virtuous and nobody wants the challenges, right? Yeah, I'd say most of them don't know. No, they don't know and they, ex and they exist in a state of nature. And then you bring some reason and evidence to them and you are creating good and evil in their world. You are creating moral responsibility in their world. And most people would like to punch you in the throat rather than <laughs> accept moral <laughs> responsibility, right? Which is why the moment you start bringing up anything of any substance, what do people do? Oh, it's not a good no, it's not a, how about them, Jane? Oh, yeah, yeah, football. Yeah. I saw a great MMA fight last night. Actually, for once, I can say that that's true. But um, what do they say? They, they mean, oh, you know, don't bring that up. Let's not talk about it. Oh, religion. Oh, sex. Oh, politics. Oh, philosophy. <laughs> Let's get something else. Oh, I mean, they, they literally will, 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 will drop a watermelon on a dog so that they have something else to talk about. They, they, <laughs> I mean, they literally will like, oh, I accidentally ran into a wall. Uh, I need some help. Like people will actually fuck up any conversations of substance rather than have the possible albatross of moral responsibility hang from their neck, from their neck right?